Hello and welcome to yet another tutorial by Davies Media Design. My name is Michael Davies and in today's tutorial I'll be showing you a quick and easy method for removing dark circles or bags under somebody's eyes. This is using GIMP 2.10.12 which at the time of this tutorial is the latest version of GIMP. But of course before I get into that I want to direct you guys over to my website at daviesmediadesign.com. As always I have tons of GIMP and Inkscape video tutorials and help articles on here so definitely check that out. You can also enroll in my best-selling GIMP 2.10 Masterclass from Beginner to Pro Photo Editing on Udemy. You can support our channel and help us grow by becoming a patron on Patreon. And you can enroll in any of my Skillshare classes by visiting GIMPschool.com. Alright, so here is the photo I'll be using for today's tutorial. And as I mentioned, this is a quick and easy way to get rid of the bags or the dark circles that are under somebody's eyes in a photograph. So for starters, what we're going to do is we're going to duplicate the main photo layer. And I can come up here and rename this High Pass. And now I'm going to come over here and go to Filters, Enhance, High Pass. And this is a pretty large photo, by the way, so it might be a little bit slow if you guys are using a photo of the same caliber or the same quality. And the purpose of the High Pass filter is really to just sharpen the effects we're going to be creating. And that's just going to help this look like it was part of the original image. So what we're going to do now is we're going to keep the contrast the same and we're just going to increase the standard deviation here until we can see the details of the bags or the circles under our model's eyes here. I'm just increasing this one at a time. Right now we're at eight. If I hold control and zoom in, you can see now we can start to see the bags under the eyes. So we don't want to overdo this effect. So probably in the eight to 10 range is going to look pretty good here. So I'll just go with eight and click OK. So once we've done that, I'm going to come over here and we're still on the high pass layer and I'm going to change the layer mode here to overlay. And if I hide this, you can see here's a before, here's an after, so it's a sharper image. And now what I'll do is I'll create a new layer and I'm going to name this corrections. And I'm going to make sure that I fill this with transparency. This is very important and I'll click OK. I'm going to move my corrections layer below the high pass layer. So this corrections layer is going to be where we're going to paint our effects to cover up the bags under our subject's eyes. And to do that, I'll just grab my paintbrush tool here. And I want to increase this to a pretty decent size so it covers up a big portion of the bags here. So I think right around here between 150 and 200 for my case is pretty good. I am using a fairly large image, so you guys might have a smaller brush depending on how large your overall image is. But right now my force is turned up pretty high, so I want to turn the force down. That's basically going to slow down the speed of my painting, so it's going to reduce the amount of color that's painted as I paint a stroke here with the paintbrush. And as you can see, I'm using a mouse. I'm not using a Wacom tablet, which you can use for this tutorial. So I'm actually going to go with the force of around 10 for this. So that's going to ensure that my paint comes out pretty slow. And that's just going to keep this from looking too fake here. So I'm going to try now and I'll hit control Z. So one thing I forgot to do, I'm going to hold the control key and I'm going to click on a light area of the skin here below the bags in the eyes. So the main problem here is that the color of the skin is really dark. And of course you can hold control and zoom in a bit if you want. And also you guys will notice I'm using a brush of hardness about 25 here. So now I'm just going to test this out and paint and this is looking pretty good here. And I'll hit control Z. It's maybe a little bit too prominent. So what you can do is just decrease the opacity of your brush and see how that looks. So that looks pretty good here. And don't worry about it looking a little bit on the rough side right now. We're going to fix that in a little bit. But we've done the left side here and I'm going to hold control and again click to grab a color of the skin here. And you'll notice that it's grabbing a color from the layer below but we're painting on the corrections layer. So it's actually using the sample merged feature to be able to grab colors and then use those colors to paint with the paintbrush tool on a different layer. So now we're just painting with that color we grabbed from this right side here. And that's allowing us to just paint over the dark circles. And now of course we need to paint above here in the top portion. So I can hold control and zoom in a bit, maybe decrease the size of my brush using the left or right brackets on my keyboard or of course the size slider. And we'll just grab a lighter color closer to the uh, top portion of the eye. I'll hit control Z to undo that. And maybe just grab a different color, control Z. 
And for this portion, I think we'll decrease the opacity of the brush even more because we don't want this to look too fake. And if it's too opaque, it's going to make the color too light as we paint. So I'm just painting the dark portions of the eyes here. And I'll grab a light color over on the right side. And of course, this is pretty light, so we're going to have to fix this. Actually, let me hit Control Z. I'm going to decrease the opacity even more for this side because this side's pretty dark, so we don't want this uh, ending up too light. We'll grab a nice light color over here and we'll paint over the eyes. I'll hold Control and zoom out. So obviously, this is looking pretty rough as it stands. Here's a before, here's an after. So the eyes are lighter, but they aren't exactly blended in. And uh, actually, let me just paint right here over the eyelids. But they're not looking real convincing right now, even though they are a little bit lighter. So what I like to do is come over here while we're on the corrections layer and go to Filters, Blur, Gaussian Blur. And what this is going to do is it's going to blend our brush strokes because right now that's really the main thing that's wrong with this is that the brush strokes are too prominent. So you can almost see like every brush stroke I made here and it's not blending too well. Plus this is also going to maybe lighten up the colors a bit more. And so as you can see, as I'm turning up the blur on our Gaussian Blur, this is allowing the painting to blend in a bit with the surrounding areas. So here's a before, pretty rough. And here is an after. So it looks nice and smooth now and it's blending in nicely. So that looks pretty good. I'll click OK. And the last thing I'll do is I'll right click and go to Add Layer Mask. Under Initialize Layer Mask 2, I'll choose White Full Opacity and we'll click Add. And now I'm going to grab my paintbrush and I'm going to click this icon here to reset my color to black and also turn my opacity all the way back up to 100. And we can also come over here to our brush and just change this to a harder brush. So this has a hardness of 100. I'll hold Control and zoom in. And making sure we're clicked on the layer mask, I can paint black over the areas that I did not want the uh, skin color to go over. So in this case, the eyes and maybe parts of the eyebrow if you think that those are getting covered up. And we'll move over to this side now and do the same thing. So we'll just paint over the eye to get rid of that color and then maybe parts of the eyebrow. So holding control and zooming out, here is our final photo. I can shift click on our original layer to see what it looked like before. So this is our subject with the bags under his eyes. And then I'll shift click and this is what he looks like after. So that's it for this tutorial. Hopefully you liked it. If you did, you can visit any of my resources via the links in the description of the video. So thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.